We're here, we got the team. We're going in for okay. Thanksgiving day. This is gonna be all day in the test house doing measurements. We'll let's see you go, soon. Let's, let's go, let's go. In, 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 go. Right. See how this goes. So we're inside the test house. First thing is breakfast. In six minutes, we'll start cooking it and then we're gonna start prepping for Thanksgiving. And where did we get the breakfast recipe? Um, today we are having an English breakfast at the test house. Actually, all of our breakfasts inside the test house are an English breakfast. Why? Well, that includes sausage and tomatoes, and we think for, for chemistry reasons, they are going to lead to very interesting emissions. Um, there's organic acids in the tomatoes, there's some hot oils that we're going to cook the that we're gonna cook the sausage in, and maybe we can even measure the cholesterol that's coming off of the sausage in the air. Um, and then we also have eggs because, you know, you gotta have eggs. So right now we are cooking some eggs and sausage because this is what home can is about. Understanding just everyday chemistry that's happening. Oh, this is an infrared thermometer, yeah. And it's uh, pan temperature, 180 Celsius. And we are making sure that we've got consistent, repeatable, cooking demonstrations for the science that we're achieving today. So we're cooking Thanksgiving dinner soon. They're on a very strict schedule at, you know, 1121. The turkey has to go in at a set temperature that they've tested. Yeah, we've just finished up breakfast, which I have been dutifully filming. And, um, and yeah, it's like, 80 degrees at 7 to 5. And we're it's studying. kind of a submarine. Right burner's on, left burner's on. Right. Yeah. Pilot light is on in the oven. And, you know, as I've been watching breakfast be cooked and consumed this morning and, and this this whole week, really, this is our first full day, literally from 8.25 in the morning when we all entered until 5.30 when we leave, um, after some more people are going to come in and we're all going to consume dinner. Today is the worst case scenario. That's what we like to call in home performance is Thanksgiving. It's that example of lots of people, burners going, cooking, cleaning, water. Fans. Just like everything Heat. that your house can do happens on Thanksgiving Day. And But it's interesting that it, uh, when we talk about it in home performance land, it has to do with air pressures from exhaust fans, water heaters running all day long because people are taking showers and using hot water. Uh, we've got the air conditioner or the heater running all day. We've got windows closed because it's that time of year. In most places it's going to be cold on Thanksgiving Day, so you're going to have a window, you know, the whole house closed up. In this case, they're using it in a very different way. They're talking about the chemistry of Thanksgiving. So all the cooking, all the sweating, all the like running around, all the talking, all the people. So it's it's a lot more to do with the compounds and the chemical reactions, which is really an interesting. That Thanksgiving is just not. It's a, a highlight for every single field. Everybody's like, oh, Thanksgiving Day, that's when all this is gonna go down. This is happening. And it is very realistic too. Like, you know, not everybody makes a homemade pie. Some people do, I like to. But they, you know, we're, we've got packaged pies. Those packaged pies are coming out of plastic, okay? They've been sitting in plastic. Um, the little trays that some of the stuff is cooking in has phthalates potentially, has these chemicals that we should start to be concerned about. While Grace is uh, shooting a lot of this stuff, I am editing an interview with Arlene Bloom, who, if you don't know her, you're about to, because we're gonna publish this interview with her. And she's talking about how there is all kinds of nasty stuff in the products that we all use. That and we talked a little bit about yesterday with the sunscreen and the right. and mosquito repellent. 5,000 man-made chemicals out of 80,000 maybe chemicals. There's a lot of big numbers. Um, but she's trying to simplify it down into six classes of thought. So but that's that's what Corbett's Regardless, that's not what we're coming. here to talk about. What we wanted to say with this little segment is that we are pissed off because it turns out that um, for me, as somebody who does not read newspapers or watch the news, and a lot of people are like, "How? what a horrible person you are. And a lot Our, of it has to do with stress. My point is that number one, I don't like being angry at people, and number two, you have to watch out for your family. So while you are being lulled to sleep by news of other places in the world and other atrocities that are being perpetrated, we are, my children, 
are breathing stuff and eating things and it's absorbing through their skin that I don't colors. know about. And I, you know, say, oh, well, I don't want to do this with my children because I believe in this principle. And there's all kinds of stuff going on under your nose that you do not know about. And that makes me upset, just like we did with home performance. The reason that we're here as home performance expert is because there's a whole bunch of stuff that we are not taught about the way that our homes work. Yeah. And this is the same of, feeling. Yeah, honestly, this was the breakfast conversation among some of the scientists that we're just not taught about so many things that are even in our general life that we're gonna use every day. Um, from diets to how houses are made to products in our, you know, off the shelf can of tomato sauce to sex even. Like we're just not taught how to do these things well. We're taught how to do them conveniently. And in the meantime, the government, which is there for a reason, that's and a we thing. do believe that that's important, regulates but, food and things that go in your mouth is all regulated very closely. But things that you breathe or that go in through your skin, they are not regulated at all. And that ends up in your body just like eating things or taking drugs. And just so. like in yesterday's vlog, we've got some of those regrettable substitutes. When some, when one thing does, like the flame retardants, get regulated, uh, unfortunately, the regrettable substitution isn't much better. So we're so happy we're here. Yeah. Thank you for <laughs> Thank watching you. and spending time with us. And we're sorry that this is a little like data light, this yeah. whole vlog oh. series, but we're not but here to... Yeah, that's what we're doing is just giving you like a, a crash course in what we are learning. And Grace science, is shooting tons of stuff today. We've been shooting stuff all week long. The science is going to take a couple of weeks and months to frankly analyze too. Yeah, but we've got the in-depth interviews with each of the scientists, each of the principals. We have the tours of the tools. All that stuff is coming to you uh, in the coming months. So make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that you comment if you have something useful to say. If you're like, I don't believe any of this stuff, that's fine. Go it's somewhere fine. else. We're going to talk about this a lot. Uh, so please do participate if you're interested. Spread the word. Talk about home chem. Home chem. See you tomorrow.